Recently, evangelical leader Tony Perkins said that he was going to give uh, President Trump a mulligan on his alleged affair with porn star Stormy Daniels. And as most people would imagine, this didn't sit well with people who actually consider themselves to be real Christians, unlike the fake brand of Christianity peddled by Tony Perkins. So on MSNBC on Tuesday evening, Michael Steele, the former chairman, uh, leader of the Republican party had this to say about Tony Perkins comments about giving Trump a mulligan. Take a look. The evangelicals did not vote for Donald Trump based on his moral qualifications, but based upon what he said he was going to do and, and, and who he was surrounding himself with. We kind of gave him, all right, you, you, you get a mulligan. You get a, you get a do over here. You, you can start <laughs> a mulligan for 70 years of his life. <laughs> <laughs> Like the, the guy committed, he's, this is what he's committed to. Right. And as long as he commits to that and continues on that, he will have the support of evangelicals. From a policy standpoint, he has delivered more than any other president in my lifetime. I've never heard Faustian bargains described so well. I mean, basically, they say, as long as you're with us on the issues, you're off. I, my, I have very simple admonition at this point, just shut the hell up and don't ever preach to me about anything ever again. <laughs> I don't want to hear it because after telling me how to live my life, who to love, what to believe, what not to believe, what to do and what not to do. And now you sit back and if the prostitutes don't matter, yeah. the grabbing the, you know, you know, what doesn't matter. The, the outright behavior and lies don't matter to shut up. But if you're a corner, baker, you do not do have thing. to bake a cake for a gay wedding. Yeah. That's, that's it's one so, of your rights. It, those are very strong words coming from Michael Steele. Again, the guy that used to lead the Republican party who depended on the evangelical votes to propel his party forward. And I, I almost hate to say this, but I agree 100% with Michael Steele. People like Tony Perkins, especially on this issue, but pretty much on every other issue there is, need to shut the hell up. They don't need to go out there and preach to other people about how their sinful lives are a one way ticket to hell or why their sexuality is going to send them to hell or being a Muslim is going to send them to hell and then forgive the horrible life that Donald Trump has led just because you agree with him on policy. That's not exactly how Christianity is supposed to work. I understand that is how it works here in the United States because we have some backwards bastardized version of religion that people seem to subscribe to, but that is nowhere in the Bible saying that uh, we should give people mulligans for being ruthless, worthless pieces of shit, which is exactly what Donald Trump is. And that's what Michael Steele was trying to convey. Now he used a little bit softer language than I did, but that doesn't make it any less accurate. Donald Trump is not remorseful. He is not uh, empathetic towards anyone and he does not regret anything that he has done within his life. Therefore, according to the Bible itself, he should not receive forgiveness. He doesn't seek it. He has not earned it. Yet Tony Perkins is so willing to give it to him just because I'm assuming he got that massive tax break. And because Donald Trump wants to build a wall and he wants to ban people from Muslim countries because at the heart of it, Tony Perkins, like so many other people in the Republican party who claim to be so religious are really just big fat racists. If you're thinking about subscribing to our channel, I strongly encourage you to do that. But if you're not thinking about subscribing, I would encourage you to start thinking about it. And then once you're thinking about it, actually go and do it. You can see the subscribe button right there on the screen, or if you're watching on a different platform, go to youtube.com slash the ring of fire.